Hello, this is the tutorial to use expense control with the um, new changes. So please look at this video. So let's start opening the application. Now you can see here we have a new label here. This means we can now see on the main screen just for you go to your menu on your cell phone. You go to preference go to select filter for main screen now you can see all your data the monthly the current month data or the 15 days of the current month could be day from 1 to 15 or 16 to the last day of month or per week and starting on monday and ending on sunday okay so if i go to all data if i go back here now you can see it says all data and you can see all my data is here so for example if if I add something here let's add something on January let's put 1000 let me change here to January I go back here now you can see it's, it's, it's showing here because it's showing all my data so if you go back to your preference and change to monthly now the current month is March so that's we only show March stuff everything with M it means it's March as you can see here everything with M is March the total is $1,970 so if I go back here you can see my $1,970 and the incomes it says $1,300 is $1,300 $1, okay so if we go to the 15 dates so today is 30 so we're going to see all the data between days 16 and 31 for March you can see it's, it's 16 20, 25, 29, 31, 30 all right you can see here we have or let me add a new expense Let me change here to March yeah, with 1000. You can see the total of the month is $2,970. And if we go back, we only see 970 because it's all only the for the 16, 15 dates. I mean, um, okay. If we go back to preference and go to week, so week is taking for the current week is starting on Monday 25 and ending on Sunday 31. So you can see it's only showing showing the days from 25 to 31. For example, if if I add a new doctor let's put 500 and today is 30 so you will see here doctor is now showing here and remember you can activate your password on preference it's not necessary but if you want to use it okay if you go back to the main screen it's going to ask you if you want to create password just click yes just put password or write your password write a secret word the email is not necessary but it's recommended for people who maybe forgot the secret password okay just click ok now it's going to ask for your login just click ok and now it's on your screen and just to deactivate the password just click 
here and now there is no password let me exit the application and you can see it's not going to ask for a password uh, any question let me know oh, and thank you for using my application and have a good weekend